Any chance we could get a video tour of your office and your vast cartoon collection? Well, sure. Um, okay. Here's my uh, home office setup, and it looks a little different than usual because there's a lot of cat toys uh, <laughs> uh, strewn about here. And also my Netflix workstation is on the other side of the room where it normally isn't. But um, here's Ripley. Boogie Boy's at the vet today getting a routine booster shot and uh, with my sister. So we won't be seeing Boogie Boy, but Ripley's here. Um, we got, uh, here's my workstation. Bunch of toys here. Um, yeah, this is pretty much a tour showing off a bunch of toys <laughs> and stuff that I, that I own. Special uh, plushies made for me here. A lot of Too Loud, my last cartoon, a lot of stuff from Too Loud. Here's my pen from uh, working at Walt Disney TV Animation for over a year. A lot of these are gifts or um, uh, art pieces from my various art shows that I've had in LA since 2013. stickers here. There's my desk pretty much. We'll move over here. There's the front door. I live in a one bedroom apartment. Here's the, here's the Cintiq for whenever I need to draw. Here's my Simpsons arcade cabinet and pretty much my Simpsons corner here right by the kitchen. Try to Go through it slowly enough for you to see everything, but quick enough to where the video isn't too boring. I really like just collecting season one, season two, late 80s, early 90s merch because it looks the weirdest and it looks, it just looks like a lot of it's off model and, and just bizarre, like, there's a ton of stuff here, but like this baby Bart is just crazy and weird. Um, like the dolls are are all great looking and just bizarre. <laughs> this Lisa bank is really weird and cool. Yeah, things from other countries. Like this is from Germany. Um, like I think this is from Spain or the UK. Candle, bark candle, it's really disturbing looking. <laughs> These are from Japan. I fear to watch, yet I cannot turn away. The captions are really weird on these. whole bunch of pins from Instagram, from the Simpsons uh, pin game on Instagram. <laughs> um, also, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's not uh, shown here at my house because a lot of it is in my work office at Netflix, which I cannot go to at the moment. So um, there's quite a bit of stuff there too. A whole bunch of soakies. Here's where my cats eat and drink water. Here's my kitchen. Mary Blair stuff up on the walls here. Oops. This is like a little TV breakfast. <laughs> old cereal 60s corner here up on top of my fridge there's this nice stein I got in Germany for Oktoberfest there's one of many uh, glass cases I have of stuff
I get a range of new stuff and old stuff. Mainly old stuff. Uh, like this Disneyland mug that was sur sur uh, uh, sold at the park in the 60s, I believe. There's like a new thing here is this uh, Haunted Mansion sculpture. But like these are from, a, I go to a lot of thrift stores. Um, these are these little mice, <laughs> pepper shakers, salt and pepper shakers are from a thrift store. Um, these are pretty weird. I don't even know what this, this, these are from, but they're fun. Um, these are from a thrift store. These are from the 40s, I believe. These Bugs and Daffy here. That bongo book is from 1947 when the movie came out. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a uh, variety of time periods here. Hopefully you can see these because they're backlit from the window. These Pinocchio wooden sculptures are from the 40s when the movie came out. Some Flip the Frog is from the 30s. These are like ceramic measuring, <laughs> measuring tools, I guess. Interesting. These are from the late 20s, these bimbos three bimbo uh, musicians, salt and pepper shakers. You can't go wrong with cartoon salt and pepper shakers. I'm planning to start a row of the Cuphead um, uh, blind boxes figures. So that's why this little area is Hi Ripley, just looking out the window. Some really great stuff. These are from the mid 40s, these Looney Tunes banks. I love them. I have more in my office at, at work. I'm trying to go a little fast because I don't want this video to be too boring. I want to. My goal is to have a uh, an animated cell from each, from one from each of my favorite films, uh, animated films. So. I've got a uh, great mouse detective there and favorite shows too. So I've got Batman the animated series there. It's a nice, all the eyeworks flip the frog layout from the thirties, early thirties. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that was my movie collection here. Still a big advocate for physical media. <laughs> my entertainment system. A lot of, well, when there's no pandemic, I'll have friends over for bad movie nights and what, and what have you. And a, some production art from Too Loud. Is an old uh, theatrical poster from the 40s. It's really cool. Some of these guys are falling over due to various small LA earthquakes. Here's a lot of TV, DVDs, TV shows. Here's my Netflix workstation that's been relocated to my house, so this usually isn't here. Had to, had to fit it in somewhere. Still filling this uh, shelf up with stuff. This this cabinet. This is my 
my living room. Here's a bunch of stuff that I haven't hung up yet. <laughs> and then uh, my bedroom's back here. more TV show DVDs. Kitty litter. <laughs> Some more stuff from various uh, art shows that I've had. Nice uh, Ren Hoek, Jim Smith drawing. Books, books, books. Bed TV <laughs> and animated feature DVDs. And my bathroom has a couple of cool things too. That's pretty much it. Say goodnight, Ripley.